can do nothing of our own to be saved. Yeah. But it's by the grace of God that we are all here. Amen. The more things change, the more they remain the same. Maddie tracked me down, but she didn't have to go far because I'm one floor above her to ask me to speak for the family and to speak for Billy. The reason being, because my mother stayed in the center of the block, almost in the center of the community. She lived for 97 years, and everybody passed by our house. Maddie, her brother, her sister, and brother, they went to our church. So she came to me and said, Roy, I want you to speak on behalf of me and my brother, because you know us. But I'm going to try my best to speak on behalf of Maddie and her brother, because it could have been me. It could have been anybody during that time. Yes. Yes. The charges I see are uh, absent from school. But to tell you the truth, there was nothing going on in Daytona during that time. The schools weren't capable of keeping us interested, hold our attention to keep us from straying. Our parents were poor, they worked, they were not at home. They were not able to give to us like a lot of other people. But the ones that did make it, we were blessed to have parents that were strong, even though they were poor. They encouraged us, they encouraged us to do better, not to accept the treatment and the life that they have to deal with or had to deal with. Getting back to Billy, God brought Billy's spirit back here. A lot of you might not realize it. It's a resurrection to the people that are here to let you realize that the past deeds of what has been done, it has been done. But the past deeds of what are going on now, Billy's here to tell you that there's not too much difference. It's slightly, but there's really not too much difference. There's still pain in the household. Our kids are running rampage out into the street and being shot. They're being treated all kind of ways. Back when I came up and Billy was there and Maddie was there, the church was involved in the community. We had unity in the community. Pastors and senior citizens were seriously dedicated to the cause of raising us. Your neighborhood, mama, was anybody who was think you could be of somebody and knew how your parents was and knew what they wanted you to be. The ministers used to go out into the neighborhoods in those days. They used to go to house to house and deal with the people who had problems. And there were many of them then, and there are even more now. Because even though things look like they're better, we're still entrapped. Billy was entrapped during his time. We were entrapped in our time. And it was the church that led us out of entrapment. And I know if Billy was here today, he would like to say that church folks, pastors, Let's get back to the business of taking care of our community. Yeah. Let's get back to the business of raising our kids, yeah. loving one another, yeah. and doing like we did when we come out of slavery and out of yeah. Africa. We're still, at a certain point, not free because our ministers fail the community. I might be criticized for this, but they have failed us in a lot of ways because we depend on them. We depend on the churches. We depend on the communities. The black churches in America have $420 billion in the bank as I speak today. Why are uh, Israel suffering? Billy didn't have to suffer, but the reason that the suffering is going on because we are a people that, I'm speaking of the black race, we have so much potential, so much ability, so much strength. We did so many things since we came here. We've created a lot of things, but what we failed to realize that our spirit has deteriorated. Billy's spirit didn't deteriorate. Billy couldn't accept the style of life that he was living. He was young, he looked ahead. <clears throat> you work in a place, you couldn't go to the theater downtown. You couldn't walk across the river to the beach. Those were hurting things. Our parents came home and cried at night by the way they was treated across the river on their jobs. It was a hard breaking thing, but you know what? Through it all, God allowed his people to suffer so that they'll get strong. And it's time for us now. Billy come back to resurrect the spirit of being strong. We're a strong people. I was there. There are a lot of us there. I could have been the one that was killed because I cut kindergarten 
Smooth. It was so boring. There was nothing to do around here. You know? I, I didn't go far. I went on the top of the stool building at the kindergarten and stayed till it was up. But on the serious side, Billy's spirit is here. God brought Billy back here. Because wherever you were, there you were, and here you are today. Like I said, the more things change, the more they remain the same. But Billy's message, and from that, and to everybody in here, we must strengthen ourselves in the community. We must get out and ask our pastors and their congregation to quit playing church in the church and come out in the community and help our sick and suffering brothers. We have kids in these housing situations that are just mothers on drugs, kids selling drugs to them. Everybody's lost. We look for the church to help us. Billy's message, I think, to me is to tell you, if he had the kind of help that his mother was not able to give him, even though she raised him with all the strength she had, Amen. he would tell us today, it is time to get real. It's time to quit complaining about the conditions. It's time to quit blaming the races for our conditions. It's time to assume our own responsibility and do what we are capable of doing. We built America. We built Africa. Now it's time to build up the black communities in America because Billy didn't come back here by accident. God brought Billy back here so that Maddie could have me to speak to you all to let you realize Amen. that it's Amen. time to get real and it's time to start doing what we know how to do. We cannot depend on no other race. We are strong enough to depend on ourselves. And with Billy being here, I'm going to end this because God has brought me a long ways. I've experienced the same things that Billy has experienced. My mother was poor, but my mother was strong. My mother raised seven kids. And she encouraged all of us to be the best we can be. They say I was the black sheep of the family. Well, I can admit, like so many of us in here are black sheep, we took wrong turns in life. But it was by the grace of God that he straightened me out. And I thank Billy for the many, many years that his spirit was really not away because when Billy died, his spirit came back to his family. But what we're doing here today is bringing Billy back to put his spirit at rest and his homeland, because I think this is what God wants us to do. Thank you.